What's good y'all, it's Silky here, and we're taking over for Lego today because it's his birthday, and him being the super hardworking guy he is, we decided to step up to the plate and give him that daily upload that he gives you guys every day. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna be breaking down everything you need to know for Cold War Season 4 right now. Yeah. Also, very quickly, I just wanna let you guys all know that I will be live on Twitch, first link in the description, as soon as this video goes live, so be sure to check it out We'll be talking about everything season four and everything more. Treyarch has now just officially tweeted out the season four roadmap and I could not get any more excited. We have now finally gotten the official reveal for the third zombies map coming into Cold War and the name is Mauer der Toten, which... Which translates to Wall of the Dead. I, okay. So it's said that Mauer de Toten is supposed to be taking place after the second outbreak Easter egg, Operation Excision. And speaking of Operation Excision, so at the very start of season four, we will be getting the second part of the outbreak Easter egg. Operation Excision will be live as soon as season four is available for all players to play. So you don't gotta wait. And in addition to the new outbreak Easter egg, we will be getting the new outbreak region, which is called Zoo. Yeah, you heard me. We will be playing zombies at a zoo okay all right that's super exciting i mean you know i it's cool with me i don't mind a new map also just wanted to let you guys know that mauer de toten or wall of the dead whatever you want to call it now will not be coming out until season 4.5 right it won't be coming out until season 4 reloaded right you know the little reloaded thing that they do it, mid, mid season in season it'll come out in the middle of season four we have to get the outbreak easter egg first because that is the prequel or the prologue or whatever and then we can get mauer de toen which is exciting because i love walls and i love when all right now we're going to be moving on to the weapons operators and more so the next thing that we've got are three new operators we've got jackal sala and weaver you know, they're cool. They do their thing, I guess. But then we're going to be getting a new score streak, which is the hand cannon, which I believe is the annihilator in a sense, kind of from Black Ops 3, which is kind of cool. It actually says annihilator on the pistol if you really get in there and get, get your little. Yeah, but that's cool. I'm excited for that. So with season four, we can all expect five new weapons, three of which will be available on launch and two of which will be available mid season around the reloaded time. So that's exciting. So the MG82 is the new LMG that is coming out. I haven't seen this in any other Call of Duty. I don't recall it being in any other iteration as well. So, you know, it'll be available free on launch, which is exciting. If you guys are going to be grinding DM Ultra or Dark Aether, definitely get you one of these cool shirts. Link down in the description, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With reading the description of this new LMG, I'm getting kind of dingo vibes, you know? It's got very high fire rate. It's going to have the highest fire rate in the entire class, improved aiming speeds, and moderate recoil, and damage with increased ammo capacity. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad if you ask me. LMGs have needed love, so I'm glad they're giving them love. Next, we can expect to see on launch the C85, which is gonna be a new assault rifle. This assault rifle is gonna be full auto assault rifle, high damage at close range with a slower fire rate, faster bullet velocity, and reliable recoil control, but with less ammo capacity. The weapon almost looks like an FAL, um, but I believe it's full auto, so I don't know. I mean, Technically, the FAL can shoot in full auto. I know the like the SA-58 can in real life. So that's probably what they got this weapon from. I'm not sure. I only played Tarkov. That's about all I know about guns. So, yeah. So next, we're going to be getting a new special slash SMG. I'm not sure which category is going to go under. But it will be the nail gun, which is cool. That's exciting. I love to see them adding new fun dynamic weapons in this game. This is a gun that was in Black Ops 3, but now they're bringing it back. I'm assuming that it'll be probably more in the specials category because it is a very unique weapon, right? Anything that shoots projectiles should go into a special category because you know it's just different dynamic, different class, you know? Also, we'll be seeing a new SMG coming in, but this will be coming in mid-season. This one's called the OTS-9. So this weapon's gonna have crazy stopping power, super high fire rate, only problem is it's going to be limited with ammo capacity in the mag size. So it's probably going to have, it says here that it'll only have around 20 mags. It says that it's going to have at least 20 rounds in the starting. Yeah. Are you for real? A maze? Good plan, bro. Good plan. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So we can also expect to see a maze. 
so yeah this new melee weapon looks pretty cool um obviously you know here on this channel we definitely are huge advocates for the e-tool nothing is really taking down the king in terms of like sheer speed and 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 damage you know so with the e-tool being out available melee weapons are cool but unless they have something that's really going to con compete with the e-tool then i don't you know but this is still exciting this is going to be cool definitely be sure to check that out when that comes in available in the game all right and of course we can expect to see new prestige levels which is a given in addition to that we will also be seeing a new season event which would be called the groundfall so with every season event we can always expect to get new rewards available in cold war and in Warzone. So you will be able to go into Warzone, get these events, and use them over in Cold War and vice versa, and even take them into zombies if that's what you're into, because that's what I'm into. So for all my multiplayer players out there, we will be getting four new multiplayer maps, which is super exciting, because I love when they add these new dynamics and these new interesting points and players and, and whatnot. I'm rambling but I'm excited. So the first map we're talking about is Collateral. It will be available 12v12 and Collateral Strike will be available 6v6 on launch. I love Satellite. That was the last map that was very desert heavy, super good for long shots, super good for snipers. But this one's gonna be a satellite that crashed into an abandoned village in Algeria, which is cool. The second map we will be getting on launch will be Amsterdam 2v2 and 3v3. This map is going to be a very close quarters map. This is a, probably another gunfight or face-off map, which is cool. I love seeing these, especially when they have the 6v6 face-off maps. Love playing them. This one is a direct cut from the campaign mission, Nowhere Left to Run, which is super cool. This is going to be a very rooftop map, super close quarters, and, you know, get your, get your shots in immediately. Probably going to cater very well to the new SMGs that we're going to be getting. Definitely got to check those out together at the same time. And for the third map that we will be seeing in Cold War Season 4 will be Hijacked on launch. Super excited for this map to be coming back. I loved playing it in Black Ops 2. I love Skyjack in Black Ops 3. I love everything about this map. Who don't like being on a yacht? You know what I mean? So in addition to Hijacked, we will also be seeing Rushed, which is another classic map from Black Ops 2. It's a very paintball heavy map if you haven't been a chance, if you haven't gotten a chance to actually play that map. It's very cool. It's a fun dynamic. But this map is really cool. I'm excited for this to come back. This will be coming back mid-season, so be sure to look out for that during the Reloaded event with the little bundle and package that they got going on for that. So now we'll be moving into the new game modes that you'll be able to see for Cold War in Season 4. One in the Chamber is now officially returning to be Cold War's third party mode game. No, you got it. Hold on. You got it. Uh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got Prop Hunt. You got, you got, no, gun game, you got sticks and stones. So it'll be his fourth. So the second game mode that we'll be seeing on launch will be multi-team sat link. It's almost like a, like a hard point type thing where you sit on the objective and let the satellite upload and I don't know, launch codes, rockets, you know, typical, typical, but it's a new multi-team. Definitely be good to grind some camos in there. That's cool. It's really fun i like that and for all you pe lovers out there capture the flag will be coming back mid-season it's cool i love capture the flag who don't know capture the flag you know you, you know yeah so yeah that's what you guys can expect for the new season of black ops cold war super exciting information super hype stuff i'm so excited for the new zombies map i can't tell you how long i've been waiting actually you know how long i've been waiting we've been waiting for a very long time treyarch stop doing that to us bro please why you why you keep doing that to us man we love playing your games but you don't give us no games to play we don't want no more outbreak don't do that no more bro for real that's all i had to say but i will be live on twitch as soon as this video goes live so if you guys are watching it watch me and we can watch it together okay yeah i love y'all peace i'm out